Is your anger valid? Absolutely, 100%, always, all the time. How can that be? Well, keep watching. I'll tell you. My name is Keisha Martin, and I'm a licensed therapist. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi! This channel is devoted to all things mental wellness. And today is another installment in my Hulking Out series on anger management. So let's get to it. You have to stop telling yourself to stop feeling. You're not gonna stop feeling. You have to stop thinking that you're gonna think your way out of feeling. You just can't do it, okay? So how you think about what you feel, you can change, but you can't think your way out of it. Does that make sense? If not, let me know. Also, if you want free ongoing insight from a therapist, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything right then. Moving on. How do you manage your anger? You got a difficult time losing your cool or your hot head or whatever the case may be. Well, what I find that's oftentimes really helpful when I've worked with clients is helping them understand how to validate their anger. In order to be able to do that, we have to understand the difference between justifying and validating. With what I'm referring to, please keep in mind that I'm talking about just your feeling, not your actions because of the feeling. So while your feelings are always valid, your behavior isn't always justified. And so sometimes we can mix the two up and then we end up kind of pushing it down or ignoring it altogether. So justifying something places conditions on it. And it also means coming up with an acceptable explanation for a thing, right? And so oftentimes, if we don't find that acceptable reason for a thing, then we'll be like, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't feel this way, or I guess I blew it out of proportion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, with validation, basically, all you're saying is that it's a thing, right? There's nothing to prove to anybody because we all know feelings are a thing and how they present for us is different for everybody, but it's always valid what you feel. Now, it's not always justifiable what you do with that feeling. Smash! So, you cannot justify punching a wall because someone angered you, but you can validate what you felt in that moment when you did that thing. What can happen though is that we look to other people to validate our anger. And that's not always going to happen. So we really have to learn how to do that for ourselves. If we don't feel validated or we do feel dismissed or we don't feel heard, what, the, what happens then? You try to push it away and it's like this big pink elephant in the room and you're like, don't look at the pink elephant in the room, but all you can do is think of the pink elephant in the room, then we will explode. Before I move on, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. <laughs> Moving on. If you really want to be able to like tone it down and not explode and, and really manage your anger better, be honest with yourself about what you're feeling and what you did with that feeling. Ask yourself, am I validating my feeling or am I trying to justify it? So really being able to understand the difference can go a long way in helping you stay centered and keep your calm and cool and everything. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I have a friend who hurt me in some way. Well, I'm angry at that person, right? Because I got hurt. Well, my feeling is valid, right? It's okay that I feel hurt. It's okay that I'm angry about what happened. But if I don't validate it and I want that other person to validate it, what happens when I go to that other person and I say, hey, you did this, blah, 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 blah. And I start yelling at that person. And then that person is like, no, you don't have a reason to be angry. I didn't do anything, blah, 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 blah. Well, then what happens? It's just gonna, it's gonna be a hot mess, right? <laughs> So instead, if I say to myself, okay, yeah, I feel this way, it's okay that I feel this way, I'm valid in what I feel, then I'm probably gonna be a little bit more calm and I'll be able to communicate with that person better because I won't be expecting that person to validate what I feel. So that person can try to invalidate me and try to be like, oh, you don't have a reason to be mad at me, blah, blah, blah. But if I know that my feelings are real, that's what matters. So instead of suppressing it and telling yourself that it's not okay to feel angry about something, what you want to do is you want to acknowledge what you're feeling, number one, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty pissed off about this particular thing. And recognize that it's okay that you have the feeling because it's a thing, right? It's a valid thing. It's okay. It's going to pass. It's temporary. Then you might find that you're less angry. You're less out of control because you've given yourself permission to feel the thing that is a thing. So really try to practice validating what you feel 100% of the time. 
Okay, it doesn't matter what happened, when it happened, who happened with, what the history is behind it. It's just a feeling. That's it. It's valid to have it. Now, what you do with it is something completely different. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. If you're finding this content helpful, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get free ongoing insight from a therapist. Seriously, right now. When you're thinking back about what you're feeling, maybe the last time you were angry, you have to start looking at how you're validating or invalidating what you're feeling. And it's not just with anger, it's other feelings as well, because sometimes all those feelings jumbled up can come out in anger or another emotion. The beauty of learning how to validate what you feel is that it leads to accepting what you feel. Because if you ignore, dismiss, suppress all the things, right, you're essentially t telling yourself that it's not okay. But if you learn that it's okay to have that feeling, then guess what? You're gonna accept that it's there when it presents for you, which will help you think more clearly and respond in a healthier way. And as I say in my other videos, this is not something that is gonna be applicable to every circumstance or every situation. This is a very general technique that you can use to you know, just be able to navigate what you're feeling a bit better. I hope all of this makes sense. And if you have any more questions or you want a little bit more explanation, then let me know. I wish you all luck in your journey on trying to navigate your anger a bit better and use some of these tools that I've shared with you today. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.